Hey Smooth Gaming here, and today we're gonna play some Minecraft. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a hidden fireplace entrance. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so this is it. This is our fireplace. As you can see, it looks really quite normal, not counting this dispenser here. Nothing in the back, so you can have this on the back of your house and there would be no problem with redstone and stuff, which I am really quite happy about. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm just gonna show you how this works. So. The hidden activation is of course the fireplace, we activate it with a splash water bottle, this is the only thing you need for the activation. We throw the water bottle, this goes down, you can hop down here, these are your stairs, and you can go down here into your hidden base. As you can see, after the pulse extender finishes, uh, it closes up behind you. This system also lifts up the fireplace. So now, if I activate the system and I will stay here to show you everything. Goes down, pulse extender there, working. Lifts it up and goes up, back up. I place the barrel with splash water bottles here so you can take it and the, when you get out, the next time you want to go in, you have your water bottle in your inventory. Yeah, so about that. How do we get out? You might guess what this is already, but this is just a minecart. Over the top of the minecart, there's a slab that I pushed in with a piston on top of the minecart. And if I get out, I am here. Of course, this can be any type of slab, it's just this one. I chose this one. Okay, um, so I think that's enough for the showcase. And I think it is time to start building. So, here are all the items you need for this build. It might seem as a ton of items, but it's actually just a variety of items. So, it's like two or eight three and we are going to start building This is the most complicated part, so I'm gonna show this to you in creative, so you need one rail and a minecart, 
you need to break the rail precisely under the minecart like so. You need to temporarily break this. Put a standard piston here. Take a redstone activation device. You place the andesite slab on the top of the mm, piston head like so. Push it in like so and you're done. Get myself some splash water bottles. I'm gonna fill this in here with some of them. And I can show you guys the system. So I'm gonna survive more, pick my water spl splash water bottle, and nothing works. Why is that? Oh, I do think I know why is that. I misplaced my observer. So the observer needs to face this way. So with the like arrow going down. See, I, I always mess that up. When I was building that one, I also messed that part up. <laughs> okay, now I think it is finally done. So take my splash a push splash water model and there extinguish the fireplace go down go here take a splash water bottle if you need to get out or you can go down into your base you take this minecart and get out you can do, you can do it again just to show you guys go down Get to your base when I get out, take the minecart and get back here. Okay, so I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. It was a ton of fun to make and I really do hope that you enjoyed this week's redstone design. I am very sorry that I didn't record last week's video. I just didn't have any idea. I I had a sugarcane farm, but then I've seen how efficient the designs of other people are, and I needed to scrap the video. So, I do hope that this fun video will compensate for that, and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye! Bye bye!